Excuse me. Anything I can do for you? Are you the Arlen Glass? The toy designer? I am. Where did you hear that? Did you have a daughter? Marlene. She died from the world. I wasn't the best father. You know, work too much. In the end, I never even got the same thing. I think I have something that belongs to you. Uh, how do you think? thought I'd hear their voices again. You can't imagine what this means to me. It's a long story, but I lost my husband and my son, too. Then maybe you can understand. She was right, you know. I did work too much. And now, I'll never hear her voice again. Never get to hold her. Kiss her goodnight. All I have left are the memories. And this tape, as one parent to another. Thank you. What happened to them? We had an apartment in Cambridge. I went to the office that morning to try to talk to Mark again. When, when it all happened, I tried to get back, but the city was in chaos. By the time I got home, there was only a crater. I lay down in the ruins. I, I just wanted to die. Instead, I woke up like this. Never gave up. All these years. You never gave up, did you? We're still working too much. I suppose so. We made toys. We made children happy. That's all that mattered. And as long as I can still do that, I will. It's the least I can do for her. What now? I... I can't possibly repay you for this. Here, take. Take everything I have. It's not much, but... And one more thing. I was saving this for her birthday. All these years. It was all I had to remember her by. Please, I want you to have it. Go ahead. Hi, Daddy. When are you coming home? You work too much. I want you to read to me again. Mommy says you're helping all the horses find good homes. Take care of them, okay? I love you. Hmm. 
Oh, <laughs> Buttercup says she loves you too. We miss you. Come home soon. Excuse me. It's slow going, but it's going. It's slow going, but it's going. <laughs>